Yeah, that should do it. Hello, Virginia Rider fans. Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Mark Ritchie, and today we're going to give you a little taste of what's coming up in the April edition of the online and print magazine. And we're going to welcome our new advertiser, Dry Run Spirits. So as always, we hope you enjoy, and we're excited to have you along, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Wow, what fun. Welcome to spring. It is a beautiful early April day. Temps are in the mid 50s, forecast to tickle 60 degrees. Watch out, Rocky. And it is severe clear. We've just turned on Dry Run Road, and this is a uh, enchanting hidden road, and one many riders will take to our new advertiser, Dry Run Spirits. This is a. It has been recently repaved so it's a bit smoother but it's a raw pristine road there's no video game like you know arrows and maximum safe speed limits watch out rocky so this will connect moyers gap road to uh i think it's either thorn springs or thorn creek and eventually uh, to 220 just south of Franklin. It's not a road that you're going to want to ride spiritedly. There's a lot of deep shoulders, a lot of driveways. But it is, it's great to experience a road like that nowadays because. A lot of them are all decked out and marked and this just gives you a taste of what it was like to ride back in the day. So we want to welcome our new advertiser Dry Run Spirits and some of you might ask uh, spirits on a motorcycle and that's not what we're suggesting at all. Rose and I we were here last week and as it turns out it was one of our most memorable rides just because of the experience we had. You know, we're not suggesting you go out there on two wheels and get a little loopy on free samples. That's that's not what anybody's wanting to suggest we're suggesting you check it out uh, it is on a uh, piece of property that has a, a farm that's part of the National Registry of Hor uh, Historic Places and uh, you can go there and hike around and see some structures that were built in the 1840s. I mean, you can actually go inside. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, some trails that you can hike or you can even ride on for the uh, adventure in BDR crowd and get to see some things that relatively few people can see. And at the end of the uh, day, you can sit back at your base camp, hopefully one with a fire pit with some uh, to-go product that you've purchased there that's locally made, M much of it on site. Um, the apples and the maple that go into their moonshine are, are all produced there, so um, 
that would be the icing on the cake, especially if you have a clear sky and you can see a bazillion stars and watch satellites go across the sky as well. Boy, the squirrels are just having a field day out here. So yeah, we're excited to have them on board. It's a, it's a really cool experience, at least for me. I mean, writing and history and culture seem to go hand in hand now that I have a, a newfound attention span for it unlike I did when I was 16 in high school and all I cared about was motorcycle motorcycles guitars beer and girls so <laughs> now look at that view I also wanted to get this video done before all the leaves popped out on the trees so you could get to see the landscape and beautiful views But unlike the experiences uh, that I had in my visits to uh, Mount Vernon or Monticello, where you got to see how the, the privileged and the affluent lived back in the day, this was shockingly different. You, know, you gotta watch out for this turn. There's no arrow and just trees. So keep that in mind. Here, going into the house, it was really small. The kitchen was super tiny. It had, you know, of course, the, the fire wood stove. It had a, a well pump on the sink. There is a spring on the property that they make all of their moonshine with. But the kitchen, the only way you could get to the rest of the house is you'd have to go out onto the porch. I guess back in the day, that's the way they built them because there's dry run spirits on the right here. If I'd been paying attention, I could have given a little bit more advanced notice. But they would catch fire a lot of times and that would help not burn the whole house down. But just to see how normal folks lived back in the day that had to have been an extremely difficult life I mean places like this you know bear in mind there was an internal combustion engines and everything was horse driven and it's not exactly flat much of this was either on fire or underwater and that's how a lot of the people met their fate out here and just to see how just tough of a life that was that just it really you know since I'm not from here it really opened my eyes and makes me there's some old buildings right there on the left I hope the camera got them it makes me appreciate you know how it is we got here so yeah a motorcycle can do all of that you know if people have a taste for hitch history and culture they can widen their views and understandings of the world and that's that's always a good thing but what a road you know we've seen maybe a couple of vehicles and this is probably as busy as it's going to get it is a Sunday so a lot of people are out and about This will lead in a couple of miles to Thorns. <laughs> you know, I do this stuff off the cuff. <laughs> and it's, I gotta tell you, if you haven't done it, tried talking and, and riding a technically challenging road at the same time. Um, yeah, you know, watch out for this humpback and a blind corner and a driveway. That'll keep you on your toes. But. It's difficult for me. I have a hard enough time 
chewing gum and talking at the same time. You throw in a motorcycle with brakes and clutches and throttles. That was interesting. They had a power line or something that fell down. But yeah, so you know, a lot of you will get to experience hopefully a new road that you haven't been on and you know all the history and stuff and you'll tell all your friends hopefully and they can come out and have a cool experience as well and you get to meet Jeff and Teresa who are also motorcycle enthusiasts Jeff has ridden a, a GS around the world and there's also been uh, Zacher Adventures um, classes that Jeff and Teresa hosted on their property so adventure sport enthusiasts could uh, go up there and hone some of their skills so you know that's that's cool stuff too so we'd like to thank everybody for riding along we're excited for the new season this is going to be the best year ever uh, as we move forward and bring you a lot more interesting, cool, and fun stuff. Again, we thank you for riding along. And we look forward to seeing you on the next edition of Virginia Rider Magazine. And I mean this quite literally. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>